Hey, today is a day. Today's a day that Bijou made first. He wrote first on a firefighter's test. He took a test to be a firefighter, right? It's a written test, right? He scored first place out of 1,000 candidates. In what county? What is it? Alameda County. Alameda County. Firefighter. Oh, it's my boy Bijou Woods right here. So proud of my boy. I can guarantee you. I will not make you look stupid. What? But that brewery is always popping. Can I get the garlic noodles with the uh, ash shrimp, please? And can I also have the lemon pepper boneless? That's it. Get out of here, bro. This right here is it's lemon pepper fried chicken breast, but it's boneless, right? But they've mastered the art of their, it's a, not dry batter, but it's wet batter. And they put it on chicken, and whatever, whatever they do with it, it's freaking amazing. And you guys, you guys get to try one, you try it. I had wet batter or fried chicken down in Mm. It's like garlicky, it's sweet, the noodles are soft, they're al what's the word, al dente? <laughs> yeah, it's so delicious. Did I get my boy Bijou in the front seat? That's what I'm talking about. We got Brandon and we got Sky Cam Photography. Low key media. All right, now we're headed to Bodega Bay to do an ocean to plane experience for my boys in the Coast Guard. We're gonna be eating somewhere on the cliffs, so it's gonna be great seafood, great views. It's gonna be a good time. I'm gonna take you underwater with my GoPros, show you the entire thing from beginning to end. So this sandwich spot out here, what's it called? Deakman's, oh look, oh look, look, look. So it's Dykeman's, Dykeman's Bay store, out here in Bodega Bay, bomb as heck. My dude over here, he's really cool. He makes uh, Reuben sandwiches with cranberry sauce on them and they're bomb as, I don't know what. It's a Reuben sandwich, cranberry sauce. An amazing combination. Oh my gosh, the cheese in there, the pickle. Hey Ruben. Hey bro, that sandwich was delicious. Why are you getting camera shy? He over there blushing. <laughs> All right, so we have this delicious raw mackerel. That's what we have. The mackerel is the bait. Mackerel is so salty and oily and stinky. The meat is so soft, it breaks apart so easily. It's like mushy, right? So what we do, we take this fish, we throw it in these mesh bags like this, you see? Bam, right? We're gonna put some rocks in there for the weight. We're gonna tie up some line right here, like this line, and we'll have a buoy like this, except the line will be about 30 feet long. And this will be sitting on the bottom of the ocean with rocks in it. Crab will smell it, they'll go to it, they'll, they'll go around like a bonfire style. And they're gonna be eating the meat. They're gonna be able to take it off because the, the mackerel breaks off so easily. And uh, we're just gonna dive down and grab the crabs with our hands. That's it. Bro, this is nasty. Listen, man, it tastes delicious. It's mackerel, it's salty. It's, you can almost, don't do it. What you mean don't do it? It's, you can eat that. It's, 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 oh, I'm not really hungry right now, you see what I'm saying? But like if I was oh, hungry, okay, if yeah, I was hungry yeah, right yeah, now, I just ate, hungry I just now, a, huh? well, I ate a Reuben sandwich when I just came, you know? Okay, like, whatever. What's a little nibble? I mean, this is, this is a little Go ahead, do it. This is the straight meat right here, okay? Let's see it. What are you talking about, man? Look, this is, man. I'll bro, get a freaking... Don't eat that. I'll get a piece, bro, because I'm not that piece. Oh, I just dropped that piece. It's like, on, boy, it's bro. all fives, bro. It's fives, bro. You nasty, bro. <laughs> I was hungry. I was hungry. I was hungry right now. Oh, ah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Then we 
have the gear. Max out, baby. Yeesh. Let's go. Oh my Let's goodness. do this. I'm excited. Oh See how my. it goes. Hey, this grass is a little taller than I remember. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my god. 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 Oh my because right now the right now the water is way more. So look, we're at the dive location right now. We're at the jetty. This is called Bodega Bay Jetty right here. Check it out. This jetty is super awesome, but it's not meant to be walked on. So when you walk across it, it's it's gonna be really tough. The rocks are very jagged, very uh, not organized. It's not flat like a normal jetty. So it's gonna be rough. But we have to make it out to this bend, and then we're gonna go probably three quarters of the way out because the water is really shallow it's really murky on this side so we're gonna need to go a little bit deeper to be able to really get dungeness crab that we're looking for i love free diving because you don't need a tank you don't need a lot of equipment you can do it quick fast and easy look at this we got a wet suit on right now and we're gonna easily be able to just post up and jump off the rocks We hit our limit for crab, that's for sure. Super dead right now. But uh, all I have right now is energy because all I want to do is cook up them crabs, make some uncle sauce, some old baby butter sauce, and put a smash on those crabs. Oh my gosh. Woo. We dove about 35 to 40 feet deep. The water is so bad with visibility. I mean, maybe three feet max, max. I mean, at the best spot, maybe three feet visibility. That means you can only see three feet in front of you. And honestly, three feet is an exaggeration. It was so murky. As you get deeper and deeper, the water becomes darker and green and darker brown in some parts. And you start seeing a, a cloud of sand at the very bottom. 
it's super sketchy because you just don't even you can't see anything you don't know if there's crabs on there or fish or what at the bottom but until you get there and when you get there you're super you're super deep and you can't no really nowhere to run from whatever's down there i mean they say there's sharks out here i've seen all other kind of sharks no gray whites i've seen the angel sharks the leopard sharks but no gray whites Let's keep it that way. Yeah, we just did that. Oh, so play part two. Hey, show us, show us. That's an easy spot. That is not gonna be a nice spot. <laughs> Found somebody new, 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 a few moments later These are dungeons, all dungeons are all this. Well, hey, when the screen goes black, is it still recording? Yeah, you just tap it. Mm. Damn. Yeah, that uncle sauce is fire. That old baby butter sauce, though. What's up with it? Okay. Oh, that that's why they said, that's why they said, that's why they named it that. My sister did that. Oh, am I, am I recording all of this? Put them in a pile. Orange ones? Oh, okay. Yeah, they're really good. I'll show you that. Like, when you put them... <laughs> the, orange some people, the orange part, some people call it... Some people call it eggs. I don't think it's... I don't actually think it's the eggs. I'm not actually quite sure what organ it is. But this is what it looks like. Your brain, let me see those ones. No. <laughs> they say it's the eggs. It's inside the crab head. It's really good. When you, when you put DMV crab slice on it, that's when it's really good. <laughs> it's like warm. It's like a good consistency. Oh yeah, that did it. That did it. That's that Dungeness crab meat with the uncle sauce right there. You see that? Wow. Uh, catch and cook in the fresh water, right? Like lakes? Yeah. Yeah. That's, lakes, that's the one thing I never do. I never. Like yeah. ever. Yeah. But, but it's reversed though, yeah. I you can go from fresh water to seawater, then you can still get that, you know, happiness because it's bigger and you know more number of things. But when you go from sea seawater to fresh water, it gets a little tricky. Yeah. It's fun though man. Saltwater, yeah. that's I mean it's probably the most dangerous. <laughs> the most exciting, that's why I like it. Yeah, <laughs> totally. What you're going to want to do is you're going to want to get your hands on some uncle sauce. 
It's gonna change your mind about seafood. It's gonna change the way you feel about seafood, I'm telling you. It's gonna change the way you feel about fried chicken, fried oysters, steamed shrimp, crab, calamari, oh my goodness, everything. This stuff is good on everything. There's only one sauce. It's made with love, it's a family sauce, it's uncle sauce.